If you're trying to run a business, then you need to make sure that you are using the best AI tools for the job. Unfortunately, that means you often have to sign up for ChatGPT, Perplexity, Gemini, Midjourney, and that gets very expensive very quickly. But I just discovered a tool that claims that it can replace all of those for just $8 a month. Let's see if it's too good to be true. All right, so the platform we're looking at today is called i10x. This is it right here. And this is an all-in-one AI platform that gives you access to every major AI model in a single workspace. We're talking about OpenAI's ChatGPT, Anthropic's Claude, Perplexity, Grok, Gemini, Nano Banana, all of them. And it claims that it starts at just $8 a month. So when they reached out to me about sponsoring this video, I was very intrigued and I asked them, hey, I know it's just eight bucks a month, but can we make this even a better deal for my audience somehow? And they said, sure. So here's the deal. If you wanna try this out, click the first link down below in the description. You can go ahead and sign up for their free plan and try it out. But then if you wanna sign up for one of their paid plans, make sure to use the code that's in the description as well to get another 15% off. Once you create an account, your dashboard is going to look like this. And you'll notice here on the left are all the tools that are available to you. AI chat, chat arena, AI images, deep research, PDF and docs, and a bunch of other ones as well. And we're going to dive in depth into a few of these. But let's start with AI chat up here on the top left, because this is pretty standard. This is just like your traditional AI chatbot where you can ask it any questions or have it help you with things like writing emails or different things like that. But you'll notice what makes this different, if I go ahead and open up a new chat, is down here you'll notice how many different models are available. You're not limited to just GPT-5, which is like ChatGPT. We also have Google's models, Gemini, we have Grok, we have DeepSeek, we have some older ChatGPT models, we have Claude in here as well, Meta. So all the major models are inside of here, so you can use any of them for your chats. Now, if you're not sure which one to use or which one is the best for the task that you have, then I really suggest you come up to the top left and click here where it says Chat Arena because this allows you to pit one model against another to see which one gets you the best results. For instance, for my business, I often have it right for me marketing emails. So I'm going to use both Claude 4.5 Sonnet right here, and I'll also use ChatGPT or GPT-5, I should say. And down here, I'm going to tell both of them to Write a friendly email announcing a new online course I made about AI tools for beginners. So right away, we can see a difference. So GPT-5 is working much faster than Claude. However, speed isn't everything. You also wanna actually read them and decide which one you like better. And personally, after reading both of these, I think that Claude 4.5 Sonnet did much better. So now I know for the future, anytime I have to write a marketing email, I'm just going to use Claude 4.5 Sonnet instead of something else like GPT-5. Okay, so now that I have the email written out exactly the way that I want, let's say I now want an image for this email. Well, I don't need to switch tools because i10x actually has an AI image generator built in. I'll click here on the left where it says AI image, and you'll notice here that under model, we have several different models as well for generating images. Now, my favorite at the moment is Google Nano Banana, but there's other options like GPT or Flux or Dolly. So I'm gonna go with Nano Banana and I'm going to tell it an image for an email newsletter going out announcing a new online course about AI tools for beginners. Now, if I wanted to, I could upload a reference image, but I don't have one for this purposes. I just have the text and we can choose the output format, which I'll keep at JPEG. And then I'll click on generate image. So here are the results. If I'm happy with this, and this is quite good, I would go ahead and download this by clicking up here on the top right. But if I wanted to make any changes, I would just change up the prompt. So I might say a modern professional image for an email newsletter about the same thing. And we'll see if those results are a little bit different and more aligned with what I'm looking for. And there we go. For me, that's a bit more on brand and a lot more sleek. So that is perfect. I can then download that and use that with my email. Now, let's say I wanna now create a thumbnail for my YouTube channel. Now, we've already made something great with Nano Banana. However, like I said in the intro, you wanna be using the best tool for the job. And just because Nano Banana was really great at creating images for newsletters, doesn't mean it's gonna be great at thumbnails. So make sure you're using i10x to experiment with which image generation works the best for the job you have. 
So for instance, if I choose flux, I'll actually be able to choose 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is perfect for YouTube thumbnails. And now I'll put in a prompt telling it to make a professional YouTube thumbnail, showing someone excited about AI tools, and then I'll click on generate image. And boom, there is my thumbnail right there. So you see, this was perfect for creating thumbnails because I was able to change the aspect ratio where on Google's Nano Banana, that is not an option. So always make sure you're using the best tool for the job. Now we have only scratched the surface of what i10x can do. Before I show you the rest though, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It's a small thing you can do that makes a big difference to help me out. Okay, so we went over AI image generation with i10x, but it can also do AI videos as well. So if you click on the left where it says AI video, this is where you can do that. And you'll notice under model, these are all the top models that are available. So I'm gonna choose Google VO3 standard for this one. And here's where you're gonna put in your prompt. And obviously the prompt is going to tell it what type of video you want it to make. Now, a trick with this is, let's say I wanna create a video about a video about a futuristic city. Now that is a very basic prompt. So what I suggest you do is actually cut this and come over to AI chat and tell it, help me come up with a prompt that I can put into an AI video generator. Here's a start. And just put in what you want the video to be about, which again, in this case is a futuristic city. And now it's actually going to craft a better prompt for you. And it's going to ask you what type of video you wanna to make to get it exactly the way that you want. So here it's asking me, do you have a preferred visual style? Photorealistic, cyberpunk, do you want it to be short, long? Do you want it to be like a hopeful or sad or all these different questions. So this is really making sure that you're getting exactly the way that you want. So I'm gonna tell it exactly what I want and then it should give me a prompt that I can use. So there we go. It gave me a few different choices here. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose one of these so I can copy that down and then return back to AI video. So again, I'm not jumping between different tools here. I'm just using one platform i10x to do all of this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and select VO3 again. I will then put in that prompt. There's also the option for negative prompt, which will basically tell it what not to do, but I'm not gonna use that for purposes of this demonstration. I'll go ahead and select 1080p for the resolution and then click on generate video. So here's the video, let's go ahead and watch it together. I mean, that is super cool. I mean, that is exactly what the prompt asked for. Really grungy, very rundown, future looking, dystopic city with lots of loud noises and sounds. I love it. But by far the most powerful feature of i10x are agents. These are basically pre-built prompts that are optimized for specific tasks. Now you can make these yourself by coming on the left here where it says agent builder and click on create agent. You will then choose which model you wanna use. So let's say it's GPT-5. You can then choose a category if you want to, like marketing and SEO, for instance. Then you can give it a name and a description, and then this is where the custom prompt goes. So this is something that you can then tell it to do so that every time you come to this agent, it will know exactly what you're trying to do with it. You don't have to keep repeating yourself. Now, if you don't wanna build these out yourself, come over on the left here where it says discover. These are pre-built agents. Some of these are built out by the i10x team. Others are built out by community members, but all of them are already done for you. And some of them are really, really powerful. So if you click on the top here where it says business, for instance, we have a YouTube title generator agent. So if I use this agent, I can tell it what type of video I'm making and it'll give me suggestions for the best titles to use for that video. So for instance, I'm telling it that I'm making a video about how everyone needs to learn AI before it's too late. And here it's suggesting different titles for me, like learn AI now or get left behind urgent or why you must master AI before it's too late. Both of them really, really good titles. And of course we can brainstorm and go back and forth on this. And there are lots of great ones in here. So for instance, here's one that will remove backgrounds. This one will remove watermarks. This one will turn your ordinary photos into stunning travel shots. We have some for business. Like this one will help you come up with prompts for image generators. And then we have ones that are very specific, like helping you optimize your listings for Airbnb. So lots of very creative agents in here. 
But what's really exciting are these chatbots that you can create. So you can create these either for your own business or other businesses, and it's able to use publicly available web pages as knowledge bases. So you could put right in here where it says knowledge base URL, the URL and multiple URLs for all the information about your business. So if you already have a help page on your website where customers can go to answer frequently asked questions, you could put in the links for all of those. And then you can generate a chat bot that you can then put on your website. So then people can actually chat with that chat bot and get all the answers. That's gonna cut down dramatically on your own customer support and all the emails that you get. And again, this along with everything else I've shown you is included in the $8 a month plan. So there you have it, that's i10x, one platform that can replace ChatGPT, Perplexity, Nano Banana, and a bunch of other AI tools for just $8 per month. If you wanna try it out for yourself, click that first link down below in the description, and don't forget to use the code PJL15 to save an additional 15% off your subscription. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.